purpose. Yeah. So I I just found something really cool this week, and it, it sort of linked back to how everything has a purpose. Everything oh. has purpose. Everything and everything has porpoise. Por- yes, porpoise. I drew a porpoise on the board. Por- is a porpoise? No, a porpoise it's isn't a, a turtle. A porpoise a, is. It's a tortoise. No. Is isn't porpoise a, a thing? Isn't isn't a porpoise a um? I got it. Isn't a porpoise a like a an aquatic mammal? A platypus is. Por porpoise. Yeah, a porpoise is like a oh. dolphin. A what? Do you have a photo? That's a porpoise. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All oh, right. So it's like a dolphin, a dolphin without a nose. Yeah, a dolph. A what? It's got fins. No nose dolphin. No nose. Anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and it, they sort of linked it back to sound design. So I'm going to use Star Wars as an example yeah. because Star Wars is amazing. Um, oh, I don't know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like things like why is Darth Vader's thing black? It's because he's a bad character and and not a bad character, a evil character. Um, and <laughs> as opposed to like Luke's who wears white most of the time. Except for when he wears black. Yeah. But that's also to signify that he's kind of between worlds. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, let's say Obi-Wan then. He wears brown. Well, Which actually, that makes sense. Exactly. Because yeah. he's... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> go on. Um, and yeah, they, they linked it back to, to sound design. So what they did for like um, uh, Kylo Ren's cape, um, they made sure that it sounded very different to like uh, anything that uh, mm. Ray was wearing. Um, is Sorry. It, is I it just, Ray? <laughs> I just realized that I like pegged my iPad down there and there's no context whatsoever for, t- for what's down there. And it yeah, looks like I just I actually have, thought about that. It, it looks it, like I have no respect for my belongings. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realized that there is like a dog bed down there. So when I throw things there, it's completely soft. Sorry. I just needed to clarify that. So I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> he just pegs his iPad. <laughs> yeah, no wonder we don't make any money. Um, yes, it is right. Um, yes. Yeah. So they made sure that they sounded completely different. So, for like for Ray's for the sound effects of her like if she's wearing a cape if it's blowing in the wind or something yeah. like that it's a super light sheet and and it's got it's really like windy and airy and it's super light just to signify that she's part of light. the light and yeah. good um, as opposed to Kylo Ren's which they they f- actually <laughs> they actively went out and found like the thickest I think it's leather as well like that they could that doesn't surprise me just to just to make this cape sound like dark and and Thick. and evil, yeah. Um, and I thought that was I never ever thought of that. Um, e- even all the sound design things I've done so far, I've just been like, oh, you know, that fork hit the plate. I better hit a fork on a piece of plate and make it look like it sounds right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, that, more, there's more context. Yeah. Than you think of yeah. Yeah. So I thought I, that was that, was that is cool. really cool. That is Today. not even remotely close to the fact that I had for purpose. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but you know, very d- definitely very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Do you have other stuff that you have for purpose? Well, that that was, was that mainly main just point? that it was just that it was cool. Right. Well, my thing for purpose is kind of accidental purpose. Oh yeah. Um. So let me actually. This isn't like the that that film. I always forget what it's called. Where the guy was. Bugs Life. No. <laughs> <laughs> Something home. Where the guy was trying to make it a drama, but it turned out a comedy. The uh the room. The room, that's it. Yeah, no, it's not. No, no, no. no. Um, so in, I'll just read. Oh, uh, so I read. I read something today about Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, mm. um, and how there's a scene in that movie where he punches a clock, and he punches the clock off the wall, mm. and um, apparently this is this is not what I'm going to talk about. But that, for context, that scene apparently was improv, um, oh. and he made a joke to the crew or something about clocking out, and then he like punched this <laughs> this clock off the wall because he thought it was funny, right? Um, and it was in character, and he just went with it. Anyway, yeah. not the point. But um, while I was reading about that, I saw something really interesting that the clock had eleven eleven as its time. Oh. And I kind of did a bit more research and I found out that all the clocks in that movie are set to 11.11. Wow. And all the clocks in a lot of other movies are set to 11.11. Really? And apparently setting a clock to 11.11 or 10.10 is just an industry standard. And that's just because it's an aesthetically pleasing time. 
You don't really have to think about it all that much. Very few people are going to notice it. Wow. Um, and they kind of just set it to 1111 as like a fail safe of like, this is an easy number to set it to. But wow. in Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, yeah. it took on a whole new meaning. Yeah. Because at 1111 in Germany, 1111 is Naranzit. 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 Naran, <laughs> yep. Something like that. Or Joker's time in the Rhenish Carnival. Carnival oh. season starts at a, on 11.11 at 11.11 a.m. What? So it took on this whole accidental meaning that is so within cool. the context of this story. Yeah. But it was just an industry standard. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. That is really that it's cool. That it's just a completely random thing that happened. Also here, I'm going to do it again. Totally fine. Hence why I didn't go like, yeah. smash. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I thought that was super interesting that yeah. it's just like this random industry standard took on this whole new meaning of like, oh yeah, clowns and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, clowns in Germany. Oh yeah. Um, no, that's super cool. And that just reminded me of like the Joker improv scene from Heath Ledger's one at the hospital where it blew up. Oh, the- yeah. And yeah. he's like, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I but- love that scene. I love I that love he stayed in character. Improv 